audio check, quick audio check. One more quick check. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, I'm not doing Stardew Valley today because I wanted to 
play Animal Crossing, mainly because... Hey, hi Katie. Hello, hola. Um, I forgot that the game is in real time, so I probably should get started on actually building up the island. So... <laughs> hey Rainy, I don't have people right in my chance, so you can't spam that. <laughs> anyway, so on Monday, I forgot my journal for subs, but I, I found it on Tuesday morning, so... Uh, what I want to do for any subscribers, or like anybody who uses Prime, after stream I will write your name all cutesy in my bullet journal. So look forward to that. Any per social andies? You can do the exclamation sub or exclamation prime that'll link you straight to the Amazon Prime um link to help <laughs> link to help you link your accounts together. <laughs> um I also purchased some badges for subs and bits so that way until I have emotes, you guys have like something. Yeah, if you do exclamation badges in chats, it'll give you the links to where I purchased the badges, just so I can give credit where credit is due. So, yeah, we can go ahead and get started. Okay. So, I know last time we ended off where we don't cutscene. Hello, hello! Time for an island-wide broadcast, your source for island news. I'll go, over, I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Let's get started. Hello everyone, this is Tom Hunt. It is 11.01 a.m. this happy Wednesday, January 26, 2022. I thought I was late. <laughs> I, get, I started to stream like five minutes earlier than I usually do, so I'm on time. Okay. <laughs> Now for today's news. I think it's funny how he tilts his head downwards. Like, all menacing. A brilliant fellow named Blathers has joined us on Tibland. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Tibland. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. That's all for me. Time for y'all to get out and enjoy your day. Yeah, I'll, I'm working on it. We'll get there. Give me a few days. I think my, the museum is my favorite part of the whole game, though. <clears throat> I hate how long the loading seas are. <laughs> a few days. Dude, I don't. I don't cheat. I don't cheat. I don't do the time skip thing. Like, I'm very vanilla. I don't like cheating. Okay, we needed only 5k miles to pay off our initial debt. Oh, frick. I clicked B by accident. I'm using my sister's controller because I begged her to let me use it because my controller, as y'all know, is broken. Broken. Opium. Um, <laughs> so she's at work, so she will not know that I took her controller. Even though she gave me, like, permission to use it, she's probably gonna get home and be like, It's not in the same spot where I left it this morning. <laughs> like, she's like that. Okay, let's see what we gotta do today. Oh, this controller feels weird, because, like, mine, this got little grooves here, but the grooves on mine feel bigger, so th this feels weird to me. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> oh, Megan, hello, hello. Oh, oh. What would you like to talk to me about? <laughs> oh, what should I do? I don't know what to do. I need direction. Okay. Yes, yes, that is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for Blathers to set up. Ah, uh, but you're not looking for a practical suggestion, huh? Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there is a small matter of your move-in fees. <laughs> Stop talking about my debt, okay? We, we don't need to talk about it. You like student loans where you can forget it for five years and then have to pay it all at once. 
Putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent, if you ask me. Remember, you'll get a notification right on your new phone when you've done anything to earn miles. Do be sure to check it out. I think you'll find it quite useful, huh? Okay, so... Oh, I thought I used this already. Oh, how could I forget? I should give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, the terminal. <laughs> Such a hard word to say. Terminal. Serves as an automatic bail dispenser, or ABD, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem different miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Okay, easy. <clears throat> oh, I should have logged in the last time I played. Oh, it's consecutive days, right? Oh, frick. I forgot that everything you have to do daily. Because, like, I don't want to play every day on stream. Like, I might consider doing, like, a 30-minute se segment of Animal Crossing for every stream that I do. Just so you guys can see, like, the growth of the island over time. Oh, I sold everything last time. <laughs> okay, let's see what he has to sell. Because I honestly would just rather buy tools than craft them. Oh, it's got junk. I don't need junk. I'm a hoarder already. Okay. So, mission as of right now is to gain 5,000 miles. Can I craft a watering pot yet? A watering can? <laughs> okay. okay, I can make an axe. Okay, so let's see what tools I do have. Okay, I should craft. Okay, let's gather some sticks and stones. That'll break my bones. That way we don't have to keep going back to the bench every five seconds. <clears throat> yeah, so anyway. I decided to take yesterday off quote-unquote because like I just needed a day to calm down after Monday stream because when I was planning my first affiliate stream I only expected like two or three people I did not anticipate number wise it was um, my best stream I assume because the title was really clickbaity I had planned segments so hopefully it was entertaining enough oh yeah <laughs> anxiety brain um, because I did not think the Animal Crossing would take like three hours <laughs> to execute. Um, and I I was rewatching back the VOD, like the part where I was deleting the save, and oh my god, it was a twenty to fifteen minute segment of me not listening to chat and deleting the game instead of the game save, and then um. Waiting for the game to re-download. Oh fuck! Fuck! Oh, oh! I ran. I ran the right, wrong way. I was trying to go into the tent. <clears throat> okay. Anyway. <laughs> so like, I only anticipated maybe three people, but I think I peaked at fifteen. And then averaged eight for the whole four hour stream and i don't, I don't know if y'all can tell because my legs are out of frame now i don't have them in frame anymore um but like my legs would not stop bouncing and shaking at hour three one because i usually don't stream for that long and two i was just overwhelmed <clears throat> and what was i gonna say Get to crafting. And then once I ended stream, I had to like sit down because like my hands would not stop shaking. And like my hands would not stop shaking for a solid like two hours. Like I couldn't really do anything because I was like so overwhelmed. 
Like, I was happy. Like I said, I did not anticipate that it would do so well. And, like, I didn't plan as much as I wanted to. Like, I had more, like, visuals or graphics that I wanted to make. But I honestly was too scared to make them. And then I just made them the morning of. Like, the... Um, <laughs> the emote presentation, I literally made it in 10 minutes. Hello! Hi, real Zelina. Welcome to chat. Hope we're doing well today. Uh, it's gonna be Animal Crossing, kind of like a just chatting AMA type thing today. Something chill. Okay. And now that I have tools, I can go get some wood and then make the watering can. <coughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> Yeah, so yesterday I, like, chilled because I wasn't ready to be on cam and I just spent the whole day editing, basically. I'm goody. <laughs> uh, I'm doing pretty good today. Thank you for asking. Um, not that tired. Oh my god. You know how when you get a text at, like, 1am and you hear the notification but you don't answer it right away? That was me. Because my friend, he sent me a video. <laughs> Of someone farting into someone's oxygen tank. <laughs> and he sent it at I think like 1.50 a.m. And I heard the notification go off. And I was like groggy. And I thought I answered it right away. But apparently I didn't see the message until like 2.30. So somehow in that hour <laughs> I was just like out of it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't get much sleep. But that's normal for me. Let's be honest, but yeah, I'm doing good. <laughs> um, anyway, the the bit where Fairy gifted me five subs that was planned. Um, exposing myself that was planned. Um, because I um edited a video for her, and I. <laughs> And she's like, I can give you money. I was like, nah, just give me subs for content. Like, I just want bigger number, better person, you know? And she's like, okay, cool. <laughs> like, even if I don't get, like, less money, I I just want chat to have subs. Because um, that was honestly what I was most excited once I finally, finally qualified for affiliate. Because I just want chat to, like, have badges, have emotes, because emotes is, to me, is so pivotal and important just to just chat culture in general so i'm working on getting some of the emotes made i'm debating whether or not i want to get like really niche custom ones because like on etsy there's like several shops that have like generic poses that i might get um but i also need to think about like what more like custom or niche or like inside jokey ones i want made can i make a shovel yet <clears throat> I don't think so. Oh yeah, I, I can't make a shovel yet, Sag. But we can use the axe to attack the rocks. Okay. Yeah, as of... <laughs> I did screen cap the salute for whatever I deleted my save, so that is a pending emote. So, I submitted it a day and a half ago, and I searched, like, how long does it take for Twitch emotes to get approved? And it said, like, two hours, but it's been a day and a half, so maybe the Twitch just does not like me? I don't know. So hopefully that one will get approved soon, so y'all can spam, um, sevens in chat. I am also not happy about my emote prefix. It is. I'm gonna type it in chat. It's literally D-U-M. It's P-E-A-C-E-I-2. That's the prefix for my emotes, and it's literally the dumbest shit. It's like, why could you not do peace in? That would literally make the most sense. It's the first seven characters. Like, why is the two? I literally do not have a two in my username. Why? <laughs> like, when I saw that, I was borderline livid. I was so disheartened and upset. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. It's okay. I, I just need to grind for partner. That's no. what I need to do, I guess. Um, I've thought about it, and the only thing I don't like about potentially, if I ever do, qualify for partner, is how you're not 
technically really allowed to stream on other sites. Because all the people you see who stream on like TikTok Live and are partnered technically aren't supposed to. Or like rather, you can't be streaming the gaming content on other platforms so you can stream other stuff, like just chatting. So that's why I'm like, I'm kind of like on the fence about that aspect of partnership. Did I make an axe? I did, okay. I'm all over the place. I'm not used to early game mechanics. Oh, I should have picked up the weeds first, huh? Oopsie. <laughs> yeah, I, I missed out on one extra mineral rip. Um, anyway, so subs, look forward to Meg7 coming soon. I'm gonna call my emotes just like colloquially just Meg and then whatever. Because that's what I want my prefix to be. So one day, people get my desired prefix. But I had so much fun because I purchased generic, like really cute badges and bit badges last night. They were really low price point. I was honestly surprised. I thought they'd be more, but I can understand why like custom stuff would be higher price point. Because I think the sub badges I bought were eight bucks and then the bit badges were only three. I was like, what? Insane. I mean, both items had at least like like literally hundreds of sales so the artist probably made bank which good for them shout outs to them um but i had so much fun like just uploading the pictures like i was just excited because i didn't know that bit badges will stay unlike sub badges to really like, if you unsub your badge disappears from chat but if you donate bits then you have your bit badge for the channel forever, which is kind of cool. I don't know why it didn't occur to me sooner, because I've only given bits to a few channels, mainly because bits cost more than what the streamer gets. So I'm kind of iffy about giving Twitch money, but I kind of have to. But like, if I can get a badge in a channel, that's a, that's a W for me. So instead of gifting subs, I might consider just giving bits to channels instead. Like, I'm- <laughs> I'm totally an incel chatter, like, I love <laughs> seeing alerts and, like, seeing badges in chat, like, it's bad. I'm exactly, t like, Twitch's ideal viewer. Like, if I had money, I would be dropping so much money on streamers. <clears throat> so, moral is... Twitch's borderline predatory behavior towards people who have money works. <laughs> Which is fine. You yeah. know. I don't care. To an extent, mind you. <laughs> I'm just not at the point where... Because um, you know how you hear stories about people gifting or giving money to like cam girls and stuff when they're broke themselves? But like, I'm not gonna get to that point. Copium. Um... What was I going to say? Because um, for Monday's stream, I gifted chat 10 subs, you know, make it rain. But I borrowed money from my dad. That Money that he technically owed me, so it's fine. Because I think he still owes me a little over 2k. But I was like, hey dad, can you give me 200 bucks so I can gift chat subs? And he's like, sure. <laughs> because, um, <laughs> to me, I kind of see it as giving, like, chatters a free trial. <laughs> oh my god. Where channels that Piffle up emote from? That's a rainy day emote? Is that a new emote, Rainy? I, I, I need to get it. I need it. <laughs> um, anyway. Because, to me, I will subscribe to a channel if the emotes are banger. Like, if I want the emote, I will sub, I don't care, I need the emote. Like, I know Fairy, or bruh underscore Fairy, she recently got some new emotes and she's waiting for approval on some more. So I resubbed to her channel yesterday just to get those emotes. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a chatter and I hate it. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Please keep spamming. I keep saying it, but like, people who spam emotes in chat, is that's my favorite chatter. Okay. 
Oh my god, his tent is so cozy. So cute. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Ooh. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I'm exceedingly interested in the ecosystem of this island. Thus, I have come to conduct research, if you will. Ah! Could it be that you are Megan? Personage who chose the location for this tent? I am. A splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with a nary- With nary a- What? What is this word? I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. What the frick does nary mean? <laughs> now, regarding the- Blathers is like throwing out some weird words, guys. Okay. Now, regarding the aforementioned research, I failed my senior year AP exam in English, so that's why I can't read. Truth be told, I am determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures, as well as those you gave Tom Nook, in the museum upon its completion. Though, I confess, there is one smallish problem regarding said museum. That is, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display? That is another matter. Which is where you come in. What? what? <laughs> Allow me to explain. <laughs> you see, it's not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would bet my pin for there's this primitive plot is flush with the fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say. Ooh. It's so funny to do. <laughs> Silly you, I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Pardon me. While I transmit the vital data to your nook phone. <laughs> He's hacking the mainframe. <laughs> there you see. With wood gathered from Tivolin, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. Woody. Woo. I know I'm cooing really loud. I just think it's really funny. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I send DIY somatics to a shovel to, or a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well, which brings me to my point. Please, Megan, cross the river and seek out those ancient relics. My feathers! I've blathered on for far too long, but let me leave you with this. If I am to open the museum, I must acquire more items to exhibit. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. <clears throat> Blathers is out here farming donos. Which I need to do. Please subscribe. <laughs> Exclamation Prime in chat. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I need to go craft it. Okay, let's go. I just realized I had my counter on screen. Rip. <laughs> That's from the Mario Kart stream. <laughs> Oopsie. Let's put Rip Aurora back on screen. Oh, is she actually not there? Oh! Never mind. Aurora's not gonna be on screen, guys. I forgot. I deleted the save. I delete I deleted the picture from my computer. Because I was like, I don't need this anymore. That was a dumb bit. Oops. <laughs> Never mind, I'm over her. I don't need Aurora in my life anymore. <laughs> Second death. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna find a new wife. <clears throat> I'm 
Okay, let's go get some fossils. Um, I'm gonna litter. I'm gonna be a bad citizen and just drop items here. Because that was the thing I found so annoying, was storing stuff in my house inventory. And then having to go back and forth. So I'm just gonna leave junk here. We're not a real town yet, so I can just leave my my shit everywhere. <sighs> I keep using the directional pad for like the quick toolbar. But I do not have that yet. Wait, I went in the wrong section. <laughs> okay, we can pick some weeds while we're here. I love my explorer hat. It's so cute. It looks like the little, like, raincoat hats the little, like, preschoolers wear. Because when I went to Japan... Oh, I- I flubbed. We were in- we were in, like, a semi-rural town. And we were just walking to, like, the convenience store. And it was in the morning, so, like, the teacher was walking all the little preschoolers off the bus into the school. And they all had matching blue and yellow raincoats and caps, and it was the cutest thing. I wanted to take a picture, but you know you should not take pictures without people's permission. But it was so cute. They were all walking in a little line and they were all the same height with their cute little coats and cute little caps. It would if, if I had a kid, I would have so much fun like getting clothes for them, which <laughs> to me is the only fun part or seemingly fun part of having a kid. Just like getting stuff for them cuz they're just adorable and sweet and cute. Everything else seems kind of mid. Let's be honest. Because I'm the kind of person to where, like, I don't mind kids. I don't like toddlers because, you know, they can't communicate very well. But I like kids who you can have, like, a somewhat reasonable conversation with. Because, <clears throat> like, when they're in kindergarten, they're like, I got my, I brought my toy truck to school. And you're like, oh, that's cool, bud. But when they're, like, like, eight or nine, that's when they start, like, understanding stuff. That is my favorite part. Hi, Noodle! Welcome to chat. Hope we're doing well today. You got a gifted sub, so that's pretty fog. <clears throat> we hope we're doing well today, man. I- <laughs> My dad- I swear to god, if he starts chopping wood right now, I'm gonna scream. Okay, he's not. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I I say this every time. I'm like, hey dad, I'm going live. So that way he knows to like not make noise. But he still sometimes will forget. Because like he probably has ADD brain like me. So like he will like chop wood and it's in the room right next to mine. And even when. Like. You can hear it across the whole house because it echoes. It shakes the walls whenever he chops wood inside. He would do it outside, but you know, it's cold outside. That's the reason why we have wood. <laughs> but every time he forgets after stream, he's like, if he's home, I'll like talk to him about stream. He's like, oh, how'd you do today, Megan? And I'm like, <laughs> I did this bit already. Um, I, was, I, I made a clip of this bit I did in a starty stream. Like he'll ask me, how many viewers did you have? And I'll be like, what? <laughs> um. Hopefully that number goes up. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, oh wait, I'm supposed to be looking for fossils. I totally blanked out. But like, I'll talk to him once I end. And I'll be like, hey dad. Did you forget again? He's like, yeah. 
Because I, I tell my folks to, if you need to contact me, just text me. Like, don't, don't knock on my door, because I get so, my sister, the other day, what was I doing? I think I was on, on a call with friends, but she came home and she forgot her keys at home, so she couldn't get in the house. But we have, like, a spare key somewhere, I'll say. I think everyone has a spare key somewhere, you know, like, on their porch. I think that's fairly common. So, she forgot where the spare key was. So, I'm, like, sitting on my computer on a call with friends, and I just hear someone literally banging on my window and it's like what the fuck like oh my god because i i'm not the main thing i'm concerned about um with having an online presence is like crazy people so like stalkers and stuff that's honestly what i'm scared of and i don't i don't think i have any stands yet i don't i don't think we're there yet literally where are all the fossils I can't wear- okay, there's one. So, like, she's banging on my window to get my attention. And I don't- I know it's her. I literally know it's her. But I don't acknowledge it because, one, I'm scared. And two, if I validate that behavior by responding to her, then inherently she'll think that's okay, that's okay to do, right? So, I don't answer her. And then she gets in the house because she finds the key. And then she comes in my room. She's like, why didn't you, like, answer me? And I'm like, well... One, you literally banged on my window. You you think that's gonna want to make me... Like, want to say hi to you? And she's like, well, you still could have, like... Answered the door. And I was like, no, at that point, I don't know if you're a crazy person or not. Anyway, I love my sister. <laughs> I know, same doodle. I okay. I have stalker brain, but I just don't act on it. Okay. Like I have to explain to my parents, cause they'll post like home videos, you know that type of cute stuff. But then they'll post like the garden where you can see the house across the street and the street name. And I'm like, mom, don't do that. And she's like, why? She's, I'm like, mom, literally, they can see the street name in the video. And she's like, no one's gonna hurt you though. I'm like. You say that, but there, I have, like, I have stalker, right? Like, <laughs> not to self-report, but, like, I'm the kind of person who will, like, investigate shit. So, like, if I want to find something out, I will find it out, you know? <clears throat> so I told her, like, if you're gonna post pictures of the house, like, don't post anything, like, identifiable. Like, if you're gonna post a picture of the garden, just post a picture of the flower. Post a picture of the tomato. Don't post... the street, you know? <clears throat> oh, frick. Uh, swap it. I picked up shells? I don't need these shells. Mm -mm. Okay. Oh my god, I love the sound of the snow crunching. It's so fun. Alright, oh, I should go to Blathers first and donate stuff. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Doodle. Exactly. Like, sometimes... Like, I'm, I try to be very careful in what I say. Because... Once you say anything online, it's basically there forever. That's why I don't have any alt accounts or a private account anywhere. Because I feel like if I did have a private account, I'd be more inclined to post stuff that I shouldn't be posting, you know? Like, some of my Facebook friends, like, posted pictures of them doing drugs, like, doing shrooms. And it's like, what are you doing? Why are you posting this on your public account? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god, I, like, whenever I see stuff like that, it's like, you're just self-reporting. Are you freaking stupid? Oh, I'm not reading this. I always skip this because I don't care about animals. Kill them all. 
<laughs> I'm a carnivore, not a herbivore. <laughs> oh, I'll donate this one. I'll start reading the descriptions next time. I just... I forgot and I wanted to finish my bit, okay? <clears throat> oh yeah, I'll listen to the presentation since I skipped everything else you said. Okay, let's start reading now. <laughs> Wonderful. This is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now where to begin? How do I say this? Okay. Let's see. I I know like the double L's in Spanish makes a U sound, but I don't know if this is of Spanish descent. Look, I'm gonna try. We're gonna one try. Milo Canute Knut, Knut? <laughs> Okay. Milo Kun Ninja. Milo Kun Ninja. Ninja? Oh okay. Said to be one of the oldest fish like animals, is it lived well before the dinosaurs. It was about an inch long and seems to have no lower jaw. It was awe-inspiring imagining such an ancient life. There is so much we don't know. We may yet discover even older organisms with even fewer jaws. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Oh, it was one of the fossils. I thought it was the fish. That's why I was confused. I was like, I thought I gave you the fish. <laughs> Imagine you just hoard all the fossils in hopes that you be yourself become an archaeologist. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm so glad I figured out how to connect headsets or earbuds to my TV. It makes the gaming experience so much nicer. Yeah. My sister, she doesn't have any personal accounts. She just has like alt accounts. So she's never leaked her name, never leaked her voice online. Thankfully, she hasn't like slipped up. Shout out to her. Oh, I'm skipping this again. Rip. <laughs> Dang it, I literally just said I wouldn't skip. Okay. Ice fishing involves making a round hole in the ice, dropping in your fishing line, and waiting. Not to rain on anyone else's idea of fun, but. Well, perhaps I shouldn't say anything. <laughs> Me holding back my vulgarity. <laughs> okay. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. <laughs> with this, we need 13 donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your continued contributions. <laughs> it does have Bluetooth support? Really? Imagine? Is it just the OLED or the normal Switch too? Okay. Drop off our junk. Sell some apples. <laughs> Man, that's crazy to think. That you were online since you were 12, Rainy. I only started using YouTube when I was like 13. And it turns out I didn't make an account till I was 15. So I was talking to my sister about this the other day. So does that mean I would just log into, or not log in, I would go to YouTube. And just go to the channels and watch videos, like without subscribing? That's so hard to conceive. Apparently it's not common anymore, but... I only usually will watch people I'm subscribed to on YouTube. Like, I don't look at the recommended tab too much unless it's related to, like, people I already watch. So, like, if it's, like, Eclipse account that I'm not subscribed to but I like the career of, then I will watch the recommended video. Otherwise, I don't really. I love the sound of getting the achievements. Like the doo, the doo. <laughs> Oh, there's so many.
Okay, that's all I got. I was gonna sell stuff. You had an eight, at four? Nani? <laughs> what? I've been running free. <laughs> Dude. We had one of those like cube off white computers until I was like 12. And then I had a Kindle when I was 13. And my first smartphone was what I got when I was 14. Oh, I must have made the account on my smartphone when I turned 14. That had to be it. But I remember watching YouTube on the Kindle. <laughs> really? It feels old, man. <laughs> you didn't have the internet till you're 18? What? See, like... That's something I've had to think about. Because how many new parents are gonna let their kids have like social media or like allow them to have like unrestricted access to the internet? Like what's an appropriate age? I think 13 is fairly reasonable because once you're at that age, you kind of have an understanding of how to process things and emotions, that type of thing. But also that's a ripe age for grooming, so Am I going to let my teenager have, like, limited yeah. access, or...? It, it's... I don't, I don't know. Just don't have a kid, and I don't have to think about it. <clears throat> yeah, I think 16 is fairly reasonable. Because that's when they're a bit more emotionally mature. Because I know there's, like, ways to skirt around. Um, like YouTube to get it off of like kid mode. Like if your kid is smart enough, they can just like hack it. <laughs> yeah, isn't it crazy to think how just like the access to information that came with the rise of internet access has both benefited society but also made everything worse. Because it gives everyone a valid voice and opinion online, so it's so easy for misinformation to spread. I know I shouldn't be focusing on the weeds, but I, I need to get them all. The fishing in the same spot! <laughs> you were literally like this two days ago. Oh, okay, I can do the stretching stuff. We'll do that another time. Because, like, the stretching cutscene is cute, but it's like, eh! Kind of boring. I, I should be fishing. That's what I need to- I need to donate to the museum. That was- that was my daily goal today. Get 15 creatures. Come on. Too bad fishing isn't this easy IRL. Oh, come on. There we go. Easy. Pretty easy? You've gone fishing? What's the biggest fish you've caught? Prove it. <laughs> I've never gone, so... I don't know how, like, easy or iffy seal it is. Oh, really? That's cool.
So are you in the States then, Doodle? Turns out Doodle is secretly my neighbor. <laughs> oh, story time? <laughs> Did the fish almost pull you in? Oh, fellow Canadian? Nice. I'm in the States, so... Yeah, you can hang out with Rainy. <laughs> okay. Woody. Ooh. This must be a sea butterfly. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea butterfly? Sure, why not? I need to practice my speaking skills. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Such mystery, such grace. Did you know that the sea butterfly's scientific name is... The cot. <laughs> the cot. <laughs> oh no. The Kosamoda. The Kosamoda. Okay, that wasn't that bad. A very rough translation of that is shell body. Indeed, this Ill illustrious creature is related to snails. Who knew? However, it reminds me much more of an elegant feathered friend, the way it flies through the water. With such grace and flying, one should wonder if it's related to the owl. Oh -ho. Oh -ho. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Oh my god, I cannot wait until we get the museum. <laughs> Eek! <laughs> A common butterfly! The horror! The repugnance! Good heavens, I must maintain my composure. <laughs> I beg your pardon, bugs. I do detest them. Still, there's much I can tell you about the insect you apprehended. If you insist, that is. Ah, please, I, I want to see you suffer. Ah, uh, I see. In that case, the common butterfly would, would have you believe it is but a beautiful friend flitting prettily about the flowers. Ah, I say. They may seem innocent things with their pretty white wings, but they hide a dark side. I like the bit that Blathers is just a closeted species. It's so good. A seemingly like open-minded, intelligent person, just a closeted species. Okay. Common butterfly caterpillar is called a cabbage worm, you see, and it is a most ferocious pest. The ravenous beasts shoot their cabbage, broccoli, kale, and the like with a devastating gusto. Ah, oh, my feathers, their green coloring is truly gross. A horrific hue, I say. Any hoot? My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. <laughs> what? Oh my, that's scary, doodles. Oh my god. <laughs> you were like, in their turf. Oh, that's scary. Ah, oh, dude. This is why I don't go out. Okay. Last donation. Oh, another bug! Blather's favorite. A dung beetle, what a wretched thing. Alas, I'm obligated to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? Ah, <laughs> for sure. For sure. What can I say? The aptly named dung beetle feeds on the feces of animals. You heard that right. This putrid pest rolls up balls of dung and then rolls them away to dine on at a later date. As if they weren't atrocious enough, some dung beetles lay their eggs in their feces too. What a dreadful place to raise the young. <laughs> I love the borderline thicket of the sides that Blathers says. Okay. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured the wretched thing will get the best of care here. He says that but keeps them locked up against their will. Okay, let's go get some more bugs for Blathers. Oh my god, you were only six? Dude, I would have- that's nightmare fuel. Oh my god. Because, like, when we were little, my parents would take us out hiking, and I think we started that when I was, like, eight, and my sister would have been six. 
only traumatizing thing that happened there was we got attacked by swarm bees, but so like the only wildlife we would see would be sometimes deer and sometimes rabbits. But that'd be it. Nothing too crazy. Cause like my parents aren't very sporty themselves either. So like they never wanted to like go fishing or anything. Ooh, 3k? Let's go. It's gonna be rich. Okay, so I need to catch more bugs. Oh, I also need to talk to the neighbors, too. Have to be a good citizen. I assume this guy's still fishing. Wonder what kind of fish I'm gonna meet today. I hope they're nice. Wow, my heart's really racing. I hope the fish can't hear it. I almost scared the fish away. I would do different voices, but I'm just not confident enough, guys. I can barely speak my normal voice, so I'm not gonna do, like, RP. I kinda wanna ham up the blather's voice a little bit. Make it sound like this really proper, prosed person. Ooh. Of course. Apparently, I just don't know how to make better fishing rods yet. Antonio! Ew! Um, this is too real. Maybe you're going for a new look, but I think that seems a little bit extreme. Well, whatever guy you has definitely not been skipping Stinger Day. I wish I had some medicine to give you, but I don't want to mess up my aerodynamics, so I didn't bring any. Oh, but I can show you how to make medicine. It's easy to do, and this island's got everything you need. Easy. The last thing you want is to get stung so much you faint. Fainting really cuts into your lap times. So make sure you keep some medicine on you. I love Antonio. He's so nice to me. He actually cares. Okay. Trash fishing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna craft another fishing rod. Just so we don't have to worry about it. Hey, yo, we're about an hour into today's stream. Um, get some water, get a snack if you need it. <clears throat> also, an ad might be coming soon too, because I have pre-rolls on. So, you can subscribe if you don't want to see an ad. That's all. I wish I could... I love the ego personality a lot. Like, I know it's shtick and fake, but that's my personal, like, favorite, like, personality to watch. Oh yeah, I made medicine. Hey! It worked! Holy shit! Thank you for the subscription, Katie. Emotes are coming soon. Thank you. Now you can get a cool little badge. Or you have two badges now because you're VIP and you get the little C badge. That's pretty cool. But thank you. Oh, I, I wanted to craft. I literally said I need to craft more fishing rods. And I didn't. <laughs> 
Oh, you get you get the founder badge too. See, you're 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 an OG now. When I become the next Ludwig, you can say you were there. You know. I like the <laughs> I like the first founder badges a lot. It makes me feel really special. That's Loki why I like smaller people. Like if I'm browsing like the discover page, I usually will gravitate towards people who aren't um affiliates yet. Mainly because like they need that boost of encouragement. And also you definitely get like a bit more of a one-on-one -on -one reaction with smaller gamers. Like me, you know, talk to me. <laughs> it's like, I made you, Megan. For real. Honestly, you and Rainy have helped me so much. Like, just feel better about creating in general. And also, you both are usually in chat. And it's nice to see friends who, like, care. Um... What was I doing? Oh, they're both fishing. Let me go fish with them. Fishing with my friends. I'm, I'm, I'm setting this up for a screenshot. There we go. Okay. Picture done. Let's leave. Discord? Really? Oh, uh, yeah, I was having issues with Discord earlier, too. Because... It was at around 7-ish? So, about 4 hours ago? Like, all the other apps on my phone worked except for Discord, but then it was back up after a minute. So I was like, oh, that's fine, that's whatever. But hopefully, it's fixed. I got a rock. Oh, big fish. Hey, chat, be quiet. I'm concentrating. Easy. The bass and the flounders are the biggest cock block in the game. I swear. Oh! I, <laughs> I scared another big fish. Oh, we got Gulliver in chat. I would do a... A cliche pirate voice, but that's too cliche, so we're not doing that. <clears throat> A vast storms are coming. Brace yourselves, lads. Hard to starboard, tough to port, stern to stern. The neon sound is so cute. I don't want to flood some. Can I be jet some? It just sounds more rugged. I don't know what the voice I'm trying to do. Oh. You have my pickled herring pizza already tipped online, so... Wait! I don't see a pizza. Where am I? Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hang on. I know that one. I'm none Oliver, then Gulliver. A seafaring seagull of the seven... Seas, I guess. We're the one who kept nudging me just now. Thanks for the wake-up call. Those tasty hallucinations tend to sneak up on me. Can you find it in your heart to forget this waterlogged bird brain? I'm reading your vacant expression as a yes. Phew. I guess I dozed off and tumbled overboard again. That's an enduring character trait of mine. My crewmates love it when I slip over the bow. Don't worry. The fellows will be here to rescue me in no time. Got an ace up my wing, you see. I'll just call for help. He's my handy. Dandy. Oh. My, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> it's like... Um, what's that one video? Where's the people crying? And he's like... Oh my god! <laughs> it's... <laughs> I... I would die if I had a soundboard. I would literally... Heal over and die. 
My handy dandy communicator is broken. This isn't handy or dandy. Ah, oh, sardines, it's all cracked and busted. Looks like it's missing a few communicator parts, too. That means I'll have to wait for my crew to find me on their own. Hmm, that could take a while. I've only got I've only got enough nautical puns to last for a couple hours. You! Yes, you, chat. Will you help me find my communicator parts? Sure, buddy. You obviously don't seem mentally stable enough to do it on your own. Really? Wow! I haven't gotten in a reception this sweet and bubbly since I watched them at old... Caracola. Sorry. Communicator parts are probably buried in the sand somewhere. I'm just missing five parts. If you'll find them, I'll try to carry them back in here. I'm sure my crewmates are looking for me, so I'd better stay here and watch for the boat. I'll leave the searching to you. I believe in you, partner. You don't really have much of a choice, though. Okay, easy. Handy dandy shovel. Get those parts in a jiffy. We got the one. This counting bit is so dumb. But I think it's so funny to me. Ah, not a part. My inventory's full rip. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? This has got to be the most annoying part of the beginning of the game. Okay, I'm gonna litter. Chat, don't look. Don't look. I'm littering. <laughs> Big fish. Okay. I don't care about the parts. I need this fish. I was gonna say, if I miss this, I'm banning everyone, but you guys got saved. <laughs> okay. Ooh, sea bass. <laughs> Ban me. <laughs> I can. I see the button right there. Oh, this girl's working for Katie. It could be like. A regional server issue as well. Doodle. I'm I'm so used to having the toolbar. Throw me off. I cannot wait till I can purchase that upgrade. Oh, there it is again. A two. Drop off some of my materials. And then... Go back to finding the parts. Oh, look at them. They're still fishing. Oh, they're so cute. They're not gonna catch anything. I can eat the medicine. No, I, I need to eat it, not drop it. Okay. I swear, I'm losing my motor function the older I get. That was the first time I pressed X instead of the directional key for my toolbox. I think that's improvement. Yeah, that is kind of weird how in Stardew Valley you can only have cats and dogs. Because the only pet I've ever had was a pet rabbit. That was when I was younger. But I think also it could be, because like, you know how your pet runs around the farm? 
there's already like rabbits that like run around in the background in some areas of started so that could be why they considered not having rabbits as a pet you would ruin the immersion I'm going to run a poll real quick. Because anchovies seem to be a hot topic. But I personally love anchovies on pizza. But some people hate it. No. Okay, I'm, I'm making a poll. I'm making a poll. So what's fun about polls is if you save up channel points, you can vote more than once on sub. No, I already have a kid. You can't refund. You can't do it. So go ahead. If you're in chat, vote in the poll. It'll be fun to see if anyone agrees with me. And if anybody does, I will VIP you. <laughs> oh, we got two no ways. No one wants a VIP. Come on, you can lie. You can lie. <laughs> but to prove yourself, you have to take a picture of you eating anchovies on pizza. Then you'll get that VIP. Come on, it's gotta be at least one person. Come on. Y'all lying. <laughs> That's not a risk I'm willing to take. <laughs> nah. This is more pizza for me. Now I know if I have a pizza party and Chad is invited, I'll just get anchovies on all of them and I will have lunch for a week. Okay, next question. If there's anchovies on your pizza, like they accidentally messed up your order and put it on, would you like bring the pizza back to the kitchen or would you just take the anchovies off? Like, are you going to be a Karen or a nice person? I think that's the real question, guys. Okay, sorry, I had to screenshot the poll for later. <laughs> Bring it back! <laughs> no, it is! It is kind of like... Well, okay. To me, if I get food that doesn't match my ticket and, like, it's food that I'll still eat, I will still eat it. Because my parents raised me to, like, not make a scene. But, like, if it's something that, like, I'm I'm not allergic to anything, so I don't have this excuse. But, like, my mom, she's, she's allergic to some, to some shellfish. So, like, if she sees that there's, like, shrimp in her pasta when there wasn't supposed to be, she'll have to take it back because she might, like, die. Um... <laughs> But, like, otherwise, if it's still good, like, I'll eat it. I don't care. Ah, see, yeah. You feel the same way as my mom. Whenever we order from, like, takeout places, we have to call ahead and make sure they, like, clean utensils or use, like, a different stove top. Because even if they use, like, some type of, like, shellfish oil or if they don't, like, clean the stove top, if they cook shrimp and then something else right after sometimes she'll still get like a reaction from it so i need just to be safe even if we do call ahead and like ask the staff to like be food safe and like clean stations properly she still takes like a benadryl before just in case like someone flubs Also, thank you for voting in the poll. Thank you, guys. So, like, what'll happen is people will run predictions or polls and people will do it. So, thank you for participating. You will see more polls and predictions in the future. So, get used to that. Because <laughs> there's, like, big streamers who will have, like, 30k in chat, but only, like, 10k people vote. And it's like, what are you doing? Come on. Is this not democracy at its finest? <clears throat> Because another thing, I, I was so excited for just qualifying for it, but like, because predictions is the funnest shit. It's my favorite thing to do as a chatter. 
Like predictions and Mario Kart streams, the best. Okay. I'm gonna give him our sea bass. This is undoubtedly a sea bass. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your sea bass? Yeah, why not? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Sea bass is a name given to a variety of different species of saltwater fish. They are a varied bunch with some uh, with some as small as four inches and some as daggerly ginormous as eight feet. Oh my god, eight feet? That's like almost two of me. I'm five foot. I'm not three feet. Okay. Or not four foot. Sea bass is a bit of a pedestrian though. Many species have better names, such as a red banded perch. Or the delightfully whimsical dusky grouper. Or the potato cod. Will no one think of the pink mau mau? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. <laughs> or some people don't know how to answer either way. Just pick one. Just pick one. If you don't know, close your eyes and click. Easy. But I get it. Sometimes, like, if I'm... When I watch a stream, I will usually, like, zone out or, like, have it on the background. So, like, if the streamer doesn't, like announce that there's a poll and like mods do it the stream would be like there's a poll but there's only three seconds left to vote and you're like ah! i'm putting my hair out because i'm annoyed with it at this point but yeah valid i get it i get it like i also feel bad as a chatter if i miss a prediction or a poll and like it ends i'm like ah i could have played the game i could have felt included you know that's just me you're six too is that feet or Canadian numbers? <laughs> you guys have meters. No way it's six meters. It has to be feet. <laughs> Imagine being six meters. <laughs> hey, this must be a dab. I'm not dabbing. I'm not doing it. That's cringe. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your dab? Yeah, why not? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The dab is a flatfish that bears some resemblance to the olive flounder, though their mouths are different. Personally, I am morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. <laughs> the dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. Thank you, Doodle. <laughs> Chad's got my back. They'll embarrass themselves. To save me. <laughs> These fish spend lots of time lying on their sides in the sand, so the odd eye placement makes some sense. But it's, how can I put this? Creepy? Viscerally disturbing? Profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry? And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. By the bye. By the by, <laughs> I've never, I've literally never heard that phrase. Blathers is too educated for me. Okay. By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated, and if so, might I take it for you? Marvelous, what would you like to donate? <clears throat> oh. Why, this is an anchovy. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your anchovy? Yes, please tell. Why not? Wonderful, I would love nothing more. There are more than 140 species of anchovy. But, the, but they do all have some... I swear. Okay, I don't have dyslexia. But I swear when I read, like, words get switched around. I think it's because, like, I try and read ahead. But then I backtrack. So I stumble on my words a lot. I'm practicing... I want to be a narrator one day. It's my dream. Anyway, let's try again. There are more than 140 species of anchovy. But... Okay, <laughs> this is... But... Okay, I can't. But they do all have some things in common. There, I did it. Okay. They're all small and... Okay, they're all small and feed by simply swimming with their mouths open to filter food particles from the sea. In my sleepier moments, I sometimes wish I could do that. There you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. 
By the by, I wonder if you have anything else that could be donated. And if so, might I take it for you? Sure. I know in later game, you can donate lots of stuff at once, so this is kind of annoying. So sorry, chat. Get used to my voice, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do the Mickey voice, or laugh every time, because it's funny. Okay, this is undoubtedly a horse macro. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your horse macro? Sure. Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Supposedly, the horse macro derives its name from a false myth about its strength as a swimmer. The gist of it is that these fish are so powerful underwater that smaller fish can ride them as steeds. It's absurd, of course. Where would these alleged fish jockeys attach a saddle, much less horseshoes? One does wish that people would construct their legends with a bit more scientific plausibility. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. With this, we need six donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. Okay, let's go. Have I ever ridden a horse? No, I haven't. It seems like so uncomfortable. There was one time, because <clears throat> we went on a road trip to um, Yellowstone, and there was an option to like take a donkey ride in the canyon. <laughs> it is and isn't. <laughs> I, like it looks fun, but like fun for five minutes, and then I guess uncomfortable. That's the way I kind of see it. Where it's like the idea seems nice. And fun, but the execution is kind of like, eh, let's not do it. One day I'll try it. When I have money, I will try it one day. Oh, there's a fish over here. I kind of like the idea of living on a farm. Like, I'd rather grow, like, produce than have animals. Because I feel like, it, like, maintaining, like, farm animals is a lot of work. And even just, how, like, having pets in general can be a bit much at times. Because my parents, they bought the property in eastern Washington, right? And my mom was like, I want to have goats and pigs. Good one, Shadow. <laughs> oh. And she was like, I want out this and this. And it's like, Mom, that's going to be a lot of work. It's just going to be you and Dad. So hold your horses a little bit. I get it. Hold your horses. I'm funny. I imagine it is a lot of work on the farmland because like we have um we have a greenhouse in our backyard and then like vegetables and fruits in our front yard in our garden and it's like during summertime it's maybe two hours worth of work to like maintain it like water everything like it's so hard to imagine like having like a large-scale property and maintaining everything not necessarily on your own all the time like you can have like a few workers but still it's a lot of work because when I went on the road trip down to Eastern Washington, it made me like realize how much, how, I guess how much work goes into like produce production. Oh my God, a chicken who likes to cuddle. Oh, that's so cute. I don't know if it'd be comfy to like cuddle a chicken though. Like, to me, a chicken would be more fun to pet than, like, cuddle up with. Okay. Okay, that, like, cicada sound? That's a bug that stays in the dirt. I literally had no idea what this creature was. 
until I had to look up like a walkthrough. But it's the most annoying bug to find in the whole game. And you can tell how close you are by how loud the sound is. Okay, it's, it should be around here somewhere because it, it did get louder. <gasps> Duh! Okay, fuck! Frick! I mean, frick! Easy, there we go. A mole cricket? Ew. Icky. Okay, we got it. Easy clip. Oh, I forgot that you can use- donate the fossils, too. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna drop the weeds here. <laughs> Cause I don't care. This is my island, I can litter if I want to. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that the talons would be sharp. <laughs> on the chicken. That's why I like I love I love cats so much. Like if I had a pet cat, I would die. Like I would be so happy. My mom hates him, so no way we're getting a cat. Oh, oops. Uh, but I hate like the claws. I don't think you should like get your cat to clawed because that to me seems kind of like not cool. I don't know. Cause like whenever I'd visit my friend's house and they'd have a cat. The cat would, like, love me, but, like, whenever you pet them too much, I mean, boundaries is good. Like, set your boundaries, like, they'd scratch you, and it's like, that's not cool. Oh my god, six hours of work? Tell my mom that, dude. And she'd be like, no shot. Just give me that apple orchard instead. Oh, we only got one thing? Oh, I have several fossils that I can assess. <laughs> a mole cricket? What a wretched thing! Class, I'm obligated to ask, would you like to learn more about this specimen? <laughs> yeah, it. Oh, I see. In that case, uh, be warned. There is nowhere- There is nowhere one might hide from the mole cricket. This plump pest has a powerful front claws that made for digging holes. And oh, and oh how it loves to burrow underground. Accustomed to the grasshopper, it also has wings and can easily take to the air. And I swear this on my pin feathers. Some have even been seen walking on water. Oh mercy, I might need a moment. This is making me feel rather woozy. Any hoot? My sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. With this, we need five donations to open the museum. Needless to say, I am eager to accept your continued contributions. <laughs> okay, we can assess our fossils now because I forgot. Okay, and then after this, oh, I can do multiple at once. I forgot. Let me see you here. Hmm, indeed. After some consideration, I can safely declare this fossil to be a parasaur tail. A splendid specimen in superb condition. Indeed, we would be one step closer to opening our museum with a parasol... Parasaur? Ooh. Tale like this. Would you donate this relic of the, of the past to further our museum's future? Yeah, I'll donate it. Why not? Ooh. How wonderful! I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lead eyes... Oh, I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved parasaur tale. Jeremy, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Yeah. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Who do you? Oh, oh no. <laughs> this is my least favorite part, guys. Okay. Par- Okay. Break. Parasaur Lofus. Okay. Parasaurolophus. Parasaurolo- Eh. Okay, we're not doing that. I like to think of it as the beast with the golden tones. You see, the three-foot structure of hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. 
As a dad and the feathered optimist and music fan, I like to think it serrated or serenaded the late Cretaceous. Ret Why do they make dinosaurs' names so complex? Why? Why do they do it? And that's what I have to say about that. Anywho, I would gladly accept your generous donation. I only hope we can find what remains in this fossil and display it in the fully assembled form. Many thanks to you and the best of luck! With this, we need four, do four donations to our museum. Needless to say, I'm eager to accept your con continued contributions. We need to make a sound bit of him just saying those last few lines because he says them every single time. Discord is trending. Uh oh, what did Discord do this time? <laughs> but okay, so it's not just you, Doodle. It's not just you. <laughs> That's reassuring, at least. I clicked the wrong button. I meant to do assess fossils, but I clicked the wrong one. There we go, I did it right that time. Let me see here. Hmm. Indeed. Oh. Oh. Of course, it can be but one thing. A dinosaur track. Okay, I can pronounce that. Easy. A splendid specimen in superb condition. Indeed, we would be one step closer to opening our museum with a dinosaur track like this. Would you donate this relic of the past to further our museum's future? I'll do it. I'll do it for the city. <coughs> How wonderful. I'll add this to our collection with the utmost haste. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved dinosaur track. Dear me, how to give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know? Wonderful. This is fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Dinosaur tracks are fossilized, fossilized footprints left on the bottom of the sea or on soft earth. From these fossils, we can deduce the creature's territory range as well as its relationship with its herd. It, is, it has even become possible to work out the creature's size, distinctive gait, and shockingly walking speed. These trace fossils are like social media feeds, enabling us to follow the daily lives of the dinosaurs. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Yeah, it makes sense that people will insert NFTs anytime they can, honestly. NFTs are sus, guys. Okay, we need three more. But see, like, what sucks is that, like, when people promote stuff in trending tabs, it has to work. Like, I assume it works for some people. Like, some people will check it out. It's also kind of like people self-promoing in Twitch chat. It's like, maybe it'll work? I don't know. Okay, rule, chatters. If you see someone self-promoting, just ignore them. And either me or a mod will delete the message. Don't acknowledge them. Don't give them attention. Just ignore them. <clears throat> because if you give those type of people attention, they're going to do it more. So just, just hold and don't say anything, chat, if that happens again. There we go. Easy. Yeah, NFTs are sus. I don't ever want to get into them. I don't ever want to buy them. Um, it's successful for some people, but for the majority, it's not. It doesn't work out well for the people at the bottom, quote unquote, or investing. But we'll see. Some people have success, some don't. Just not for me, is what I'll say. I'm not, like, too educated enough on the topic to, like, give a real hot take.
Easy. Come on, give me a new fish. They're still fishing. Dude, that's not a good spot. You've been here for what? Hour and a half and you haven't caught anything? Oh yeah, there's for sure some like not good stuff going on in some crypto markets. As long as you don't get involved, you're good. I need to stop running. I'm like so scared that I'm gonna scare the fish away again. That is a valid point. That is true. I can't catch much anything else. I mean, the way I see it, I'm not gonna buy any crypto. Like, ever. Isn't it wild? I think YouTube announced that they're potentially gonna pay creators with NFTs as a payment option. And it's like, how is that feasible? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Because, like, you could be underpaying or overpaying your employees. Like that. I don't, I don't get it. I can understand, like, paying with it like that to me makes sense but like for wages that does not seem adequate Yeah, that is true. Kind of like how everyone wanted to get a new PC because they're at home more, but they can't get like a motherboard because all the crypto bros were buying up all the chips and computer parts so they can have a Bitcoin mine. And then in turn, just manufacturing in general in the US has been shit <laughs> because of the pandemic. I said motherboards because I don't know anything about computers. I was just I just know there was supply chain issues. I'm like, I don't know what specifically part of what part of the computer. But thank you. It was GPU, I believe you. <laughs> I just say stuff and hope it's right. That's my motto. Thank you, chatter. <laughs> I will refer to like Sometimes people by user are sometimes chatter. Like, if I have like one person active in chat, I will usually default to chatter, but if I have several, I will refer to user. So sorry if I keep switching between the two. It's just habit. I missed. Sag. <laughs> Again? Imagine. I play games for a living, guys. <laughs> for a living? Ah! <clears throat> it has got to be difficult being like a creator or content creator full time. Like, just having the pressure to create something new all the time definitely has to be like soul crushing. Because, like, my ultimate goal 
is to gain enough influence to where my quote-unquote skills will be recognized. Whether it be like art related or video creation related. Because I think it would be fun to work as like a creator's editor full time. Like that's the goal. Like I don't want to make my main income off of streaming because I don't think that's sustainable. But just gaining a name for myself I think would be good. Because in the creative field, you have to just make stuff. Like, you have to have a portfolio, you have to show that you have some type of skill. Oh, I have- I have five motherboards. <laughs> Not motherboards. Um. <laughs> communicator parts. Oh, really? See, I, I know, like, a little bit- I know the basic about crypto, but I'm not, like, into it. Like, I just look at it, and I'm like, this is not for me, and then I keep scrolling. <laughs> hey, chat, be quiet. There we go, easy. <clears throat> My god. 14,000? That's insane. I'm concentrating right now. Oh, I thought I didn't get it. We're gonna litter again. Let's see. Oh, have we caught a squid yet? We can go check. Our inventory's full anyway. I think I've gotten all the fossils already. Oh, big fish! Come on, I want a shark. Sharks don't spawn this time of year. Rip. Oh, come on. I messed up. <laughs> Dang it, that was- that was probably one of- Dang it! That was probably one of the rare ones. Carter saws. Yeah, my issue with, like, crypto in general is that it doesn't seem like it's going to be a sustainable or long-lasting market. Like, I can't see it lasting more than maybe 20 years, max. So it just seems like a lot of wasted material energy. Versus something like investing in renewable energy. That'd be cool. You give him the squid. <laughs> this must be a squid. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your squid? Yay! Wonderful, I would love nothing more. Well, first off, squids are members of the mollusk family, just like the octopus. Many mollusks, like snails and clams, have shells, but the squid's body is almost completely solid. The exception is a long, narrow bit of hard material growing, going through its main body, the last remnant of its shell. Of course, having your shell inside is not a best practice. Perhaps they lost the owner's manual. 
And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is complete, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Yeah, we got a bug for you. It's kind of like streaming. You get people into it and then they buy all the tech, all the lights, all the capture cards for it not to succeed. Seems familiar, no? A wharf roach, what a wretched thing. Alas, I am obligated to ask. Would you like to learn more about this specimen? <laughs> yeah, man. I love seeing blathers <laughs> repress, repress his biases. <laughs> In that case, hmm. Dwarf roach is an omnivore, which is merely a polite way of saying it will eat almost anything. The skittering scavenger and its unhealth appetite help keep beaches clean, it said. But I dare say their long antennae are indulging us may turn my stomach. Unappetizing indeed. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, rest assured that the wretched thing will get the best of care here. But this. Oh, we need one more. One more. Okay, so... We can for sure get that one more creature, and then we can probably get the 5k in... Nook Miles as well. I forgot what they were called. Okay, big fish. I did it again. I got too excited. It's such a good debate, the fish. I'm usually so good. Like, fishing is my favorite part of the game. When I first got the game, I played for, I think, four hours straight. And I fished for a solid two and a half hours. And I was happy. something new okay inventory's full anyway Sag okay so we can sell our fish make some bait hopefully get a new fish earn miles and then call it a day I'm still upset they have not added a craft like multiple at once function that would make like literally the most sense but it was never added it's dom Talking about Animal Crossing, not Cyberpunk. <laughs> See, I wanted to get a PS5, but after receiving Cyberpunk, I was like, nah, I'm good. And maybe not want to buy the console. Oh, I need to talk to Gulliver, Rip.
Wait, I thought Cyberpunk was a PS5 exclusive. <laughs> I- see, like, I'm into games, but I'm not, like, into games. So, like, I- <laughs> Uh, she... I don't follow game news. I, d I just, like, see headlines, and then I run with it. I'm actually dumb as fuck. My second F word of the day, I get one more left. I think it's also because, like, just my memory retention is not good. So, like, even if I research something, and, like, I'm really into it, I, I, I cannot retain it. Oh, I forgot to read it, Rip. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah! I remember you talking about that last time, I think, Doodle. <gasps> I got 5k! We'll pay our debt now. After we get some cool fish. Oh, I should probably. There's a pond up here. I should probably go in the pond. I haven't gotten any pond fish yet. I think it was over here. Hey, let me check the map. It's not. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is over here. Okay, good. Oh, <laughs> it's literally right here. <laughs> oh, big fish! Be chat, be quiet. I will not throw this moment again. Oh, we got it. We got it. Oh, carp. Cool. Okay. So to explain the bit of chat be quiet, you'll see it in like some larger streams. And it's basically where chat just spams ellipses. So like all the chatters will just <laughs> be like ellipses. <laughs> and it's the funniest thing. <laughs> So, like, there's so many bits that I'll say that usually don't work in a smaller chat, but I'm just so used to hearing myself in other streams that I will just, like, steal that joke and try and claim it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so that's what I mean when I say chat be quiet. Because <laughs> I know some people in here aren't chatters or don't watch a lot of, like, big streamers. And that's okay. <gasps> Ooh, I love this guy. Ranchu goldfish. I love the character model for that fish. Okay, well, there goes my fishing rod. I guess we're done fishing for today. Okay, so we can go donate those last two fish. Hopefully be able to upgrade the museum. Pay off our 5k debt to Tom Nook. And then we will be set. But before we donate, <laughs> we are just about two hours into stream. So as I said before, I do have um, scheduled ads. So... An ad is coming! If you want to avoid that ad, you can subscribe for five bucks or exclamation prime in chat that'll help you link your Amazon to your Twitch account. That is all. Hey, okay. get to it. <laughs> Monka Steer? Why are you using Monka Steer right now? We're not playing Mario Kart. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Doodle rushing to get his sub ready. Or get their sub ready, sorry. <clears throat> um. <laughs> okay. Let's make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Usually get cars ads? Interesting. I usually get, like, tech ads on Twitch. Or, like, buy this headset. Or get this game. Which is fitting, because, like, it's a gaming website. Okay. <laughs> Gondam ad? Imagine. What? This just incels on Twitch. Why, why do they think those things would sell well? <laughs> do they not know their target audience? Anyway. <clears throat> Anywho, this is a Ranchu Goldfish. Now might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your Ranchu Goldfish? Yeah! Wonderful, I would love nothing more. The Ranchu Goldfish is a charming relative of the goldfish with a bumpy head and stout, round body. They have ordinary heads when born, but develop impressive rectangular heads after about three years. Supposedly, their head shape changes depending on factors like the size of their tank, Oh, I thought I was going to add more to that. Why did they have ellipses at the end? Um, bad grammar. Okay. So Rancho Goldfish enthusiasts aim to raise perfectly shaped specimens and work hard to achieve this. Of course, no one asks the Rancho Goldfish themselves what shape they want their heads to be. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Bravo and thank you. Once the museum is completed, it shall be displayed with the utmost dignity. Hmm. I do believe this means... Yes! Huzzah! Hooray! We have acquired the number of specimens required. At last, we can submit our application to build a proper museum. Oh my, I must make haste and prepare for the museum opening. There's so much to do. Thank you so very much. Museum construction is about to begin, and thus I cannot accept new donations at this time. However, regrets for false appraisals are still most welcome. Nah, I'm good. I will be here tomorrow due to construction, so if you have fossils for me to assess, come by today. I don't got any, so we good. Okay, so I'm going to place my extra fish here, so I don't accidentally sell it. That would be sad. Yeah, just unsubscribe for the emails. <laughs> unsubscribe and block. <laughs> yeah, college things. Just college stuff. You know, like the Tumblr edits where it's like, boy things or girl things, college things. <laughs> okay, I need to rearrange these a little bit. Oh, I need to craft a fishing rod, Rip. Oh, I need to get more sticks. Ooh, bug! Oh, frick, I missed it. Okay, we're not gonna accidentally hit Antonio because we love Antonio. So, did you like. Were you like one of the head of the dorms then? Or do you mean like assistance in terms of like. like paid aid or something? Because if you're, like, one of the head of the dorms and you get a discount, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Q 
glorified janitor mom. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> See, like, I like the idea of having roommates or living in a house with people. Because right now I live with my parents. But I feel like I would just be doing everything. Like, I would be, like, the housekeeper. Not that I wouldn't mind it. Because, like, I like doing household stuff. But I would definitely fall into that role. Like, I tell Katie, like, I would be... I would be your housemate that I would gladly cook and clean for her. Oh, we got 23 sticks! Sheesh! Okay, so we're going to make fishing rods, pay off our debt, and then I don't know what next. Ah, uh, so you're kind of like managing everyone, rather? I wouldn't mind that either. I like having power. <laughs> I used to be like, I'm still really introverted. Like I definitely have like an on personality for Cam, but I feel like I'm a lot more assertive with people just cause like I actually have confidence now. Imagine. Yes, we can pay off our debt. Oh, you'd like to pay your moving fees? Very well. You owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Let's go. Thank you so much. Indeed. That is 5,000 miles and not a mile less. <clears throat> With that, your moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, huh? Yes, yes. You're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scening island. What could be better? Oh! That wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Eh, it's fine. It's livable. Oh, wait. Oh, just fine? But consider, doing fine on a formerly deserted island is actually quite good, huh? Together, we're reshaping this barren wasteland. I mean, pristine paradise into a lovely community. Ah, yes, but we mustn't rest on our laurels, huh? Perhaps there is more we could do. Yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now, there are certain challenges to rebuilding fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. But, with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Megan. That's me. <laughs> if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We do have a Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook Shop, you'll be able to redeem your Miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be, sh be, sh you'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, huh? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. Okay, so we did both of our goals or tasks for today. We finished the 15 donated items to the museum and we paid off our 5k debt. That is really good, because when I was thinking of what we could do today, I just thought we just had to donate stuff. I forgot that we had to pay off our debt. Imagine forgetting about the <laughs> extraneous amount of debt you have. Okay, so now I think we've unlocked upgrades. Oh, the tool ring. Oh my god. Oh, okay, so I guess I have to get the home first, Sag. I hate this capitalist system. Let's go talk to Nook. Even though he literally just told us we could redeem our mouse, but I guess not. Okay. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all yours. About my home, I guess. What if I just want to live in my tent? I want to be minimalist. I just want a tent. Oh. Have you made a decision about your home ownership? Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent can be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means tight. Oh. 
means taking on a loan of, a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Yeah, let's do it, I guess. I mean, 98k for a house is pretty good with the market right now. Like, I think our house right now is valued at 350k? But probably in five years it'll be at at least 700k. Which is insane to think for, like, just a small three-bed, two-bath. Not even an acre. Okay. By the way, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Could you please select a roof color from this list? Um, hmm, a different color. Ooh, aqua? I love me a teal. Okay. You'll have an aqua roof. I'll get that order in for you, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get an automatic Nook Mileage program upgrade. Just give me one moment, huh? Oh, so I literally just have to take out the loan and then I can unlock stuff. Okay, that's fine. Yes, there we go. I've updated your program membership details. Now when you use the Nook Miles app, you'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app, so please give it a look when you can. That is all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? That is exciting. Oh, I got further than I thought I would today. Actually, kind of pog. <clears throat> okay, so I don't think there's much else I can really do today. Because the museum is going to be upgraded tomorrow, so it should be done in two days. And then the house will be upgraded overnight, so it'll be done tomorrow. So I think I'm going to pause and save here. Oh, I should look at my mail. <laughs> I always forget to open the mail. Oh my god, from mom! Okay. My dear Megan, how is your new life treating you? Are you eating well? Brushing your teeth, washing behind your ears. Oh dear, I'm all worked up. Here's a little something to help out. Eat it or plant it, but think of me. Sincerely, Mom. Cute. Okay, let's see what Mom gave me. Please be a check. Please, I need money. <laughs> I need 98k, Mom. Ooh, cherries. Hmm. I... Wait, wait. Can, can you plant? Okay. Is it true? That you can plant fruit. I'm actually... For the longest, I've never tried planting fruit. In my original island. Because I didn't know it was a thing. And it just seemed too preposterous. Dude, if we could have cherries, I've never gotten cherries, so that's actually really cool. Oh, look at that. She's so cute. Okay, so now that we checked our mail, we've upgraded the museum, paid off our debt, but we're getting a new debt tomorrow. I think we are done for today. So let's go ahead, save and end. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you to anyone who came into chat. We had uh, Katie Lee, or, or Cutie Lee, sorry, oopsie, <laughs> Rainy Day Games. <laughs> we also had uh, Baby Rosalina come into chat for a little bit, and Juicy Doodles. I appreciate you. I love my chatty Andes. Uh, thank you for streaming. Oh, thank you. I try. It's fun. I hope people enjoy it. Or I, I assume at least some do. <laughs> um, before I end, I just want to say again. Um, 
I do have a bullet journal for anybody who subscribes. So I do this off stream because no way am I gonna write this nice when I have a cam on me. But we did get one new subscriber today. Shout out to Cutie Lee. So I'm not gonna write it in the journal just yet, but I'll write it over here. Oh, I forgot. I can turn this way so you guys can actually see me writing. Okay. So we're trying to be like Amaranth, write down subs names. I think it's nice to just do something extra for the people who do support. I know some people can't afford it, and you know, that's okay. Because I know I can't afford subscribing to everyone that I watch. So I totally understand. Well, then I also, like, I feel bad because I don't have emotes set up for subs. We'll get emotes soon. I hope that's on cam. If not, Sag. Sorry, Katie. <laughs> there we go. Beauty Lee! New sub. Thank you, Katie, for subscribing. Enjoy the no ads and some emotes and the badges. Um, I'm still indifferent about rating. But I will see if anybody I know is live right now. Okay. Um, let's see. I've never rated before either, so let's see if I can do this correctly. Um, one second. One second. Mods. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's see if I can type in the user right. Uh, we are going to be rating. If I do this right. Um, I am JF Downs. They are another small streamer, and they were really nice, so y'all can go check them out. They were in chat the other day, and they were just this individual and, like, their friends they brought into chat were really nice. So we're gonna give them a little raid today. Oh, I did it right! Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, bye guys. I hope y'all have a good one. Have fun.